Assalamu alaikum hey guys uh, today I am coming with another video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create curve stone uh, like this in AutoCAD uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D and uh, convert in Visible uh, Composer okay so this is the road which is this is the uh, material asphalt the base like this and then see the curve stone from here to here 15 centimeter you will uh, see the dimension and from uh, from down from here to here 30 centimeters see and this is the curve length from here to here uh, 0 0.07 and from here to here 0 0.07 let's draw it in uh, civil 3d i am not going to show you this thing uh, today i'll show you later but today we are just uh, uh, i'm just going to draw this curve stone uh, let's jump on civil 3d this is my civil 3d and then first of all i am going to type here r e c uh, which is a rectangle and hit enter and you will see the common bird specify first for corner point or chamfer elevation fillet thickness but you can choose you if you want or just click the screen like this and you will see the rectangle now here uh, the option of uh, common bar you will read this thing very carefully uh, specify other corner point or area dimension rotation you have three option here I'm going to choose the dimension this is the dimension I am going to choose uh, just click like this and uh, comment bar ask you specify length or rectangles uh, give the length of rectangles 0 0.15 centimeter hit enter and give the width or rectangles 0 0.030 centimeter like this you will see uh, your curve here now you need to click inside the curve insert the rectangle like this and it's done okay now make dimension dal or dim or dim so i'm type dal see this is the uh, height 0 0.03 and this is the width 0.15 now i am going to create here our uh, chamfer i'm just type in uh, common word C H A you will see the option here chamfer just click like this and select the first line or I am going to select distance you can uh, choose distance or angle I just uh, choose the distance and it so will ask you uh, chamfer chamfer distance the first first uh, chamfer distance is 0 0.0 which is uh, this is uh, this is the uh, length 0 0.07 first corner and then second corner also 0 0.07 just hit enter and hit enter twice okay or you can type 0 0.07 and hit enter again now just uh, click uh, choose, uh, click the first line and then second line this is the your curve make the dimension before you create dimension just uh, and to show you exact dimension from this just uh, trim this thing and dl again and you will uh, see the dimension 0 0.07 see this is the dimension this is very easy way you can draw this thing uh, in civil 3d or autocad and see the dimension okay remove this all of thing and you can uh, the, uh, this is the condition right now done in 2d you can uh, convert it uh, in civil 3d uh, for sub assembly composer okay <coughs> first of all you will see create design see this uh, drop down menu just click this 
small button like this you will find lots of option here now create figure from object under this option you will find create sub assembly from polyline just click this uh, option and select your line you want to create sub assembly just click this and there it is you can give this name or keep as it is as you wish so code set style you can choose from this list lots of option i'll choose the all codes also you can create a new you can change the layer or you can choose the mid ordinate distance link creation multiple you can choose one of them also uh, if you want arrest this polyline you can check this if you don't uncheck this okay i am just going to click okay see this is done you can use it in uh, uh, in your project no problem but you cannot change anything here because this is from polyline and you still not add any codes or shapes not add okay so i will show you one way uh, just one or two points how to add code first of all you select this uh, your sub assembly and click code and see in your comment bar enter code so give the name datum i want to add datum d a first letter is capital d a t u m and hit enter select your sub assembly see this is the three points you have point link shape so if you want to uh, create shape you choose all of these if you want to create link then choose line okay if you want to create point just uh, type here p and hit enter you uh, and select the point so i am going to type l because i want to create link datum link okay l hit enter and choose the line so you will uh, see the change of color so this is done this is the datum you created right now so i am going to show you two more options i am going to select again and then add click again enter the code suppose i want to give the p1 one point name uh, if you can give anything p1 hit enter choose uh, from point p hit enter select your point you want that is the point you create right now this is the point code p1 okay right now if you select this thing you will find here origin see this is the origin origin means what is the origin origin this is the origin you want to add uh, this curve in uh, your sidewalk or uh, assembly this is the point it will uh, connected uh, connected with the sub assembly i'll show show you the example suppose this is uh, this is the sub assembly okay this is the main point midpoint which is center this origin will add here in center select your sub assembly and add to sub assembly like this see your point here the first point you will select this is the origin now if you don't like your origin you can change it you can give here you can give here or you can give the middle middle of this anywhere you want so i'll just press undo or yes now i select this again and this is the modify origin i just click this and i'll choose my origin is mid of this polyline like this see now point you will see there is no point this is my origin right now if i select my uh, assembly i'll uh, click the add to assembly and choose this 
assembly we will see this is the midpoint now it is connected with midpoint ok now I am going to show you how to add shape just click like this simple way add shape and select all of your polyline or points no need points but just uh, select the polyline like this and hit enter you will find your shape like this so that is it for today I hope you guys enjoy my video and please if you have any question ask me and please uh, like my videos and comment share likes uh, and thank you for watching Allah. oh before i finish uh, i should mention uh, this uh, curve I, I am going to show you how to create it in sub assembly composer okay so this is my sub assembly composer i just open this and then I open my one of file I want to show you how I create all, all of this I created for uh, civil 3d I just open it this is the curve stone I want to show you how I create in uh, sub assembly composer and uh, edit in uh, civil 3d you can after fini after uh, finish your work you can edit this thing also so this is the codes I add and if you click this you will see all of code so next in next video i'll show you how to create a curve in a curve stone in civil uh, subassembly composer or any kind uh, subassembly composer you can draw here for civil 3d any kind of uh, assembly you can draw and use it in civil 3d so thank you for watching allah Hafiz.